Hello, this is Steve Carrington, and I want to take you five days into the future for our August 23rd, 2022 Palmer City Council meeting, and that's at 6 o'clock. So on the consent agenda, we have an introduction of another ordinance. This is ordinance number 22-006, amending Palmer Municipal Code. Uh, that's for changes to lot exceptions, uh, adding a food bank to the commercial land use matrix and adding some other sections so it's kind of a updating and modernizing some of our code and then there's approval of minutes from the previous couple meetings then under communications and appearance requests we've got the Palmer Municipal Airport presentation on taxiway November airport drainage improvements and construction of apron E uh, that's by Dave Lundin uh, principal civil and engineer environmental engineer so that has to do with the projects that are happening out at the airport and that's under communications and appearance requests so there's a chance that we can do some dialogue and going back and forth and asking some questions and so uh, there's actually a report in the packet page 21 it looks like and with that um, if you see something of interest well to ask questions it needs to be a council member but they represent you, so you can contact your council members to express your interest and concerns on any of those projects. Uh, then we have reports, and there's the city manager's report. There's actually a couple bullet items mentioned. Uh, police staffing update, page 23, and a discussion on capital priorities, page 27. And that's basically a list of our priority projects for the city of Palmer. And that's that we share with the feds and with the state and any other interested parties wanting to know, okay, what are our top priority th that we want to do? And at the current time, what we've got listed, there's like 15 of them. There's a Bogard Road water main extension. There's a wastewater treatment plant improvements. There's water system expansion, gravel to paved road surfacing, traffic control lights at the Palmer Wasilla and Felton, downtown road improvements. And there's other projects listed. That was on page 27 of the packet, if you want to look at that. So we'll be, the council will be kind of reviewing those and then we'll probably be updating and improving the updated list uh, probably next month in September. And for the mayor's report, um, I didn't actually get a written report put together, but uh, we did have a ribbon cutting uh, this last week with um, Homespun Alley, which has been on the outskirts of town for a while, but they've got moved and set up shop uh, in right next to the laundromat and the UPS store there. Uh, also, it's that time of year where it is fair time. You can tell because it's raining, but um, it's fair time. There's a lot of events and things happening. I'll have a couple of pictures up that show some of the posters and a listing of some of the dates and times of events happening out at the fair. But that's that famous time of year when it seems a third of Anchorage comes out to Palmer to celebrate in our farming and agricultural area. Then under public hearings, we have the second public hearing for a variance request for a subdivision development. I believe that was the Green Acre subdivision. And there's a resolution uh, basically accepting uh, 6.9 million from the state towards our wa wastewater treatment plant facility. We've had this major upgrade of our wastewater treatment plant going on for a few years now. Then also on the agenda, we have action memorandum uh, 22-048 about a purchasing, basically a street sweeper. There's lots of information in there, but it's a, a street sweeper, which are uh, not cheap, but it's it's in our budget and we kind of need it to we like putting down lots of sand in the wintertime and then we like taking it up before summer comes. So and then of course under unfinished business we have ordinance 22-005, which is the rezone uh, whether or not to rezone from commercial limited to commercial general uh, parcel that's out there by the pretrial right here in tight. This has been Steve Carrington taking you five days into the future.